What's going on, incredible people? Before you ask, yes, I'm in uniform. Um, today's not really a working day. We just standing by for change of command. So basically, not much work to do. So I was looking through my phone, right? Ooh, yeah. And there were like several things that like Big Bad Toy Store has now. Shout out to Toy Shears, by the way, because his was Entertainment Earth, but I prefer Big Bad Toys because it's $4 shipping. Bruh, why do they have the NECA Bat Gremlin? Like if you ain't interested in it, that's fine and all. Like, there's three things I want to share with y'all. Like, I'm going to save the best for the last one. Kind of like my thoughts on it. But long story short, I'm not trying to make this too long. The NECA Bat Gremlin, if you did not get him, this is going for like 350 bucks on Amazon. That don't mean go get it and try to scalp it. Don't don't be that person. If you on my channel and you scalp, just fucking unsubscribe. But, um, yes. Second up, the Queen Alien. Are you fucking serious? Yo, let's go. Let's go. And last but not least, which is still good news, but kind of sucks, you got your cell shaded Spider-Man from the animated series. Even Big Bad Toys is like, shit, we're going to make a profit. I mean, it was like 25 so I mean, you're paying like an extra 20 but I mean, it depends on how bad you wanted it, man. Like, they're not, obviously, they're not scalpers, but even they trying to like, mm, dude, that's not right. I don't, I don't think that's right. They shouldn't do that. And shame on Marvel Legends, Hasbro. This, hopefully, the Spider-Man cell shade should be like the last two-pack that they offer. It should be Spider-Man and Peter Parker. Even those of us who've already got the cell shaded, everybody deserves to get that. That's a pivotal fucking character. Like, n the show doesn't matter without that character. You feel me? So, that's kind of lame. But I am happy to get my NECA Gremlin, NECA Alien. As I've said in other videos, I fucking stop pre-ordering shit. I'm done with that unless it's like something that's like a grail to me. And the Queen Alien was definitely a grail. Next up, I'm just going to talk about um, a couple of items I picked up because I might as well, you know, keep that moving because I got so many things going on, but I want to keep you informed. So I was able to pick up the Dungeons and Dragons figures by Hasbro. I was always interested in them. However, I didn't want to pay $24 for these figures. Like I was like, I'll catch those at Ross or something like that. But I think it's awesome that they were only like seven bucks each. And then um, as you see here, the um, two pack that was $50 that was only 15, you know what I'm saying? So like, it was worth collecting that. Now it's kind of like I'm in for a penny and for a pound. So when the new ones come out, I'm like, shit, like, do I wait for those to go on sale or do I just get those? Like, time will tell. I've only opened one, stand by for the review on that. Also, I'm gonna do a review on my Beast Kingdom Joker. I think it's a pretty cool Joker. Um, I shot a recording, but nothing picked up audio wise. So I'm gonna have to do another video um, going over like my likes, dislikes. I mean, I'm not knocking or anything like that. Also, what's got me in a Dungeons and Dragons mood is I picked up this book. Um, I was just at a local Walmart. Yes, I do collect books. And I was like, huh, this is kind of an interesting read. And so this weekend also being May 14th, 2023 depending on when you're watching this i'm gonna go see that movie it's playing on base for free and kind of want to see it so i'm gonna go see what that's about because i've never really played or knew anything about D. &D. i kind of watched the cartoon as a kid and it has some dark undertones from my memory like it's home it's for, you can watch the whole series on youtube right now for free it looks hokey as hell but there's like some adult like themes like with life and death stuff like that but what i do like is that there's two female uh, protagonists and one of them is black and it's just, it's just the norm. They don't have to rub it in my face. She ain't gonna be like, I'm a sister and we can do anything. And you know, like, or we're women, see us roar. It's just like, yeah, you're equal to us. You know what I mean? Like, and as far as like, you know, like, I don't want to go too slippery down the slope, but obviously like, I'm not even gonna go down that slippery slope. They just don't put it in your face. Like, I believe, yes, you can do it. Like, I don't, you know, anyway. The cartoon is on YouTube for free if you want to check that out, if you can suffer through it. There's only like several episodes that's worth it to me. Um, I do like the figure so far. I've seen people, like when I watch reviews, they like say limbs break. I think Geek Dad Life had one break and things like that. So I'm not saying it's not an issue, but I'm going to like try to be careful and warm it up. When people say you shouldn't have to, no, you shouldn't have to. That's just the nature of the beast, if you feel me. And lastly, I want to talk about those Mondo Ninja Turtles or whatever they are right here. I first heard about it from, uh, shout out to Mad Hatter. I mean, he did like a purchase video. Man, people are losing their fucking minds. I'm not spending $75 on that just for a damn Ninja Turtle. No, like that could be a two pack of like the tunes or something like that. Like, I get it. I mean, I get it, but that's like dangling the carrot and making people have to like, 
jump through hoops and shit, dude. Like, if you're going to release it, fucking release it. Don't string people on along, you know, along like that. That's that's kind of a fucked up practice. I'll never order shit from Mondo. Or and if they're not Mondo, I might have misunderstood. Like, whoever they are, I won't do niche orders like that. I fucking refuse. I'm not feeding into that monster because that's, that's how it perpetuates, you know, like, first come, first serve and all that. Why the fuck is it first come, first serve? Now, if you just like a small mom, pa, I'm in my basement, you know what I mean, making 3D renders and shit like that, I get it. But you're a company. Like, what? What do you, you got the factory on loan, motherfucker? Like, shit, we only got it for like two days. You better get your orders in. How does a pre-order sell out? I don't care. Hey, if you want it, you can have that ugly son of a bitch. Like, I don't give a fuck if it is the first turtle. It don't mean it's the best. It looks, I ain't, I'm going to keep it a buck. It looks like ass. I know they were having fun with it, but it looks like straight ass. I'm sorry. Like, I'd rather spend that money on one of the vintage comments or something like that. But anyway, all my incredible people who y'all. Um, hope y'all enjoy y'all Friday. That's the day that this was recording. I'm about to go do this change of command. Then I need to go home and get some rest because it's been a long week. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. If you don't like my content, thank you anyway because I love engagement. I'm a confrontational person. Like I'll argue one plus one is five if it just gets a rise out of you. So till later, hoop y'all.